Hi guys, I have just uh, converted my laptop into an Android tablet, almost to a full-fledged Android tablet. I am running the Cyanogen Mod uh, 13 Android x86 version and then of course I have the Air Bar uh, which converts any laptop screen to a touch display. So as you can see, the Google now works. I have got the Google cards here. And I am running an application in order to lock the screens in landscape mode. Certain applications switch the screen orientation to portrait. So I cannot uh, tilt my uh, laptop and use it in a portrait mode. So I am running an application uh, which has locked my screen orientation and as you can see it says a device model HP 15 notebook. So this is my laptop. The interface is uh, almost seamless. You can you, you just cannot tell that this is a laptop which is running an Android. The touch is almost that great. So to demonstrate, I have got uh, three uh, games or apps installed, Temple Run, the Fruit Ninja and the Subway Surfer. So let's start with the Temple Run. See if you can see, if I, if I use a mouse to start the Temple Run game, this doesn't start. As you can see, I am using a mouse to touch this this doesn't work so if I instead use my touch using the air bar the game starts And of course when you when it comes to tilting and all the stuff you get caught and you cannot run this game uh, so of course uh, when it comes to a point when you need to tilt uh, this obviously doesn't work So even the side swipe works and next uh, the subway surfer. You, you have a portion of the screen which has got cropped. So again in subway surfer if you use a mouse to tap to start the game it doesn't happen. So you need to touch this. The game starts only when you touch. The difference between the subway surfer uh, uh, and the temple run is. Uh, you you don't need a tilting in a subway surfer it it is just uh, jumping around and so you can play this game more freely but uh, you don't have the player visible in a subway surfer that is the only disadvantage So maybe uh, if I come across an app uh, which could uh, fix the screen resolution then it could be great. So but then uh, this is beautiful just beautiful. This is the best part the fruit ninja.
so this is what the air bar is actually meant for guys so a couple of uh, weeks back i reviewed it with windows and i i didn't feel uh, satisfactory but uh, this is this is what it was created for so i am short of words so So oh, everything works uh, seamlessly with the touch. YouTube works. The cards work. So that is it, guys. So that is how you can uh, almost completely uh, convert an existing laptop into an Android tablet uh, using Android X86 and the Airbar. I hope you like this. Thank you.